So I wanted to make a quick video on how to check the uh, the codes for an OBD1. In this case, we're gonna be working with a uh, Toyota Supra. This is gonna be a really quick video. It's not gonna be too long. I uh, wanna keep it under like five minutes maybe, maybe even shorter. Now this is an old, old Supra, like I said, it's the Mark III. Uh, it's a 1986 to be exact. Let me put the keys in there. So it's a 1986 and of course there's going to be corrosion and all of that stuff inside of these ports. So I was not able to connect anything to the ports. Link in the description of a quick chart. Using a little bit of common sense, it tells you which one of these you need to connect to the other one. See, I try to clean them out, but even then it was just going to be too hard. Too much, too much time. So I took it off. I opened it from the back. I took the two wires that I needed. I took them out. On, the, on that diagram, it tells you uh, connect the E1 with the TE1. So this is the E1, and the red one is the TE1. Usually you can, in, in a lot of forums online, you can find it that you can connect a paper clip to one or the other. But like I said, it was too dirty. So what I did is I took them out, and I literally just hooked them in. Cleaned the bump before I slid them in, obviously. So I slid them in and left it there. And I came to the vehicle, came to the inside. And right here is really important. So the check engine light is off right now, obviously. As soon as I put this key in, you're gonna see the check engine light blink. It's gonna blink for the 10th spot. And then it's gonna blink for the one spot. Meaning if it blinks twice, that's two in the 10 spots. If it takes a second and then it blinks one more time, that would be a one. So that'd be 21. So watch, it's throwing code right now. Once I put it, in the on position. You don't even have to start the car. So it's in the on position. The check engine light did not come on, but it'll start blinking. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five, because it took a break. One, two, 52. So let's see if it does it again. It, it'll cycle through. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five, one, two. Okay, so now what you do with that is you go online and you research that code. So five, two, you look it up, whatever year, car, whatever, whatever it is, you look up code 52 or whatever, check engine light, code five, two or whatever. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. It was just a quick video. Um, it's all over the forums. It's pretty easy. The, the, the thing I got around was the dirty port. So now if your port is dirty, now, you know, just take out the wires, remember where they go and put them back in. I would even go as far as to labeling right now. So I'll probably end up making a chart and uh, keep that somewhere safe in the car and remember which ones were the E1 and the TE1 wire. So that if I have to do it at another time, I'll do it again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was just quick, like I said, and uh, until next time.